Um, you, you wrote in your letter of the 7th of November to Julian Smith that uh, the Guardian hadn't uh, published the names or identifying information for staff of our intelligence agencies. And I think in reply to the chair earlier, you added that you, you hadn't used or lost control of that information. Yeah. Um, can, I have a, can I clarify, though, in your response to uh, Michael Ellis earlier, did you say that you had communicated that information to the New York Times? Uh, at the danger of repeating myself, we gave the material to the New York Times uh, at the same time, uh, roughly the same time as we told the Cabinet Secretary that we were doing that and giving the Cabinet Secretary the name of the editor of the New York Times and how to contact her. And you referred earlier to material given to the Washington Post not being under your controls. Um, the material shared with the New York Times, did that remain under your control? The, the material that, yes, the, the material was given to the Washington Post by Edward Snowden himself, by a, a journalist called Barton Gelman. Uh, the material that we have with the New York Times is in the joint control of myself and the editor of the New York Times. Okay. And when you say you hadn't uh, lost control of the relevant data at any time, does that include the periods when the data was with Fe FedEx, who I understand you've admitted to using to transfer some of that information? Yes, no, no data was lost, or no, no, no control. We, we, we lost no control of no data. No, so, no names have leaked from the government. And when I previously used Federal Express, I, I wouldn't sort of naturally re refer to the period while whatever I was sending was with Federal Express as being a period while it was under my control. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm, well, I'm saying we haven't lost control of it. So the, the reporting of the FedEx. Uh, uh, Transmission was, was was grossly exaggerated. This was not. It was reported as, as tens of thousands of documents, including MI5 and MI6 spies. That was not the case. This was material relating. It was a small amount of material relating to one story, that was uh, encrypted to military grade encryption. Was sent safely, arrived safely, uh, and uh, it didn't involve any loss of control. You referred earlier to the information having uh, commenced with The Guardian, The Washington Post, Rio, by which I assume Glenn Greenwald, mm. and Germany. Um, are you saying that all 53,000 files began with each of those four <laughs> places? Can you re re repeat the question? The four you said, Guardian, yeah. Washington Post, Rio, I assume Glenn Greenwald, and Germany. You were saying that, that the data information had started in each of those four places. I'm wondering, are, are, you, are you saying that all of the 53,000 files had started in each of those places? Uh, I don't think we know exactly who has what. I think uh, probably the only person who knows that is Edward Snow. Okay. Um, was there any information which you had at The Guardian, but that Glenn Greenwald did not until you transferred it to him? Uh, I don't know the exact answer to that because I don't I don't know what uh, what uh, who who got what in the initial. Why would the out. Guardian have bothered to transfer information to Glenn Greenwald if he already had it? Uh, because sometimes these uh, well I, d I don't want to get too drawn into the um, into the methodology of, of how we've worked, but. It's the issue uh, it, of have you communicated yes, this information yes, the, the, outside your jurisdiction? I, I'm not entirely, I cannot be entirely sure what Mr. Greenwald had separately from us, uh, what is encrypted in different ways, what is held in what ways, what he, uh, what he has that Laura Poitras does uh, or not. I've seen him on the public record say that he and Laura Poitras are the only people <coughs> who have complete sets, but I don't know that to be true. Has he not said on the public record that the files, or some files relating to GCHQ uh, that the Guardian shared with the New York Times were a set of documents that only the Guardian had until you, you did that? I, I, as I, I, I don't want to repeat myself too much. I, I don't know. Ex I know that Mr. Greenwald has uh, GCHQ material that he, that he has that was given to him directly from Mr. Snowden so I can't tell you exactly what we gave him that he didn't have already. Um, I, mean, do, I understand if you, do, you choose not to answer this question, but I mean, do, do you consider that you have communication information on the identities of staff of the intelligence agencies out of jurisdiction, contrary to the JTA of the uh, Terrorism Act? I, I think I've um, answered that 
to well, your answer to doesn't clear, at least not to me. Well, uh, if the, I'll, I'll, I'll try and repeat myself clearly. Uh, I think it has been known to the government, apparent to the government, for many months uh, that the material that Mr Snowden leaked uh, included uh, a good many documents that had names uh, of uh, security people working for both the NSA and GCHQ. And as I said, and I'll say it again, I told the Cabinet Secretary in mid-July in mid, uh, in mid that we were sharing this with the New York Times. Which you would accept constitutes communicating it outside of the Self-evidently, they, they work in New York, yes. Okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the reasons for that, I brought this book along with me today, some of you would be familiar with, with this. Um, the people remember in the mid-80s, mid the Cabinet Secretary travelling to Australia to try and suppress this book, which was written by a former uh, MI5 uh, agent. And we had the ridiculous sight of a British cabinet secretary trying to stop the publication of something that had already been published in uh, Australia. And what was very much in my mind was the ridiculous situation that we would be in if The Guardian was the only publication in the world that was not able to publish material that was being published in Rio or Germany or around the world. And final okay. question. Um, you have, I think, Mr. Rusbridge, admitted a, a, a criminal offence in, in your response just there. I wonder, I mean, do, do you consider that it would not be in the public interest for, for the CPS to, 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 to prosecute well, them, I, or should that be dealt with by the authorities in the normal way? I think it depends on your view of a free press, really. Um, mm. uh, uh, in, in America, the Attorney General, Attorney General Eric Holder, came out within the last two weeks and said that on what he had seen so far, he had no intention of prosecuting Glenn Greenwald. He's gone further. He said that under his watch as Attorney General of the US, he won't prosecute any journalists doing uh, their duty journalistically. In New, in New York, uh, within the last month, I debated the general counsel, the former general counsel of the NSA, uh, Stuart Baker, and he said he makes absolutely the distinction between what Snowden did and what journalists did. He said once the information is in the hands of the journalists, that is protected material. Thank you. And Clark, my reading of, the, of our own DPP uh, and the guidelines that he laid down during the Leveson process <laughs> is the public interest will weigh very carefully and very highly in any deliberations he takes. But Glenn, Glenn, did Greg, Glenn Greenwald not also make a distinction between journalism, including what he was to him in, in, engaged in, and what he says that the, the Guardian was, 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 did, was doing, which was uh, the, the distributing or indeed trafficking across international borders of that information. We were sharing this material with journalistic colleagues on the New York Times in order to stimulate a debate which presidents uh, uh, and legislatures around the world think vital.